Yo, what's going on everybody? You said I know you for the title, and today I want to talk about what if Modern Warfare 2 sucks? Because this is a genuine thought that's been kind of in my brain for a couple days with the release of trailers and things like that, and I've been really thinking, well, the game looks great in a trailer. It's a trailer, after all. It doesn't showcase how the game's actually going to play. It doesn't showcase whether or not it's going to play like Modern Warfare 2019, or whether it's going to play something closer to Vanguard, or something closer to Cold War. We, we have no idea what it's going to play like. And I've, it's got me thinking, what if Modern Warfare 2 sucks? Like, what are we going to do, especially when this game is going to be supported for two years straight? What are we going to do for two whole years if the current Call of Duty we just don't enjoy? Like, I know people will play old Call of Duty games and I'm not, you know, worried, oh, Call of Duty is going to die if Modern Warfare 2 sucks. No, because they can always just remaster Black Ops 1 or 2 or remaster MW2 like fully or MW3, you know, they could always do something like that. Right, the Call of Duty franchise by no means is going to die if Modern Warfare 2 sucks, but there's still kind of that worry of like, at least for me, like if I don't enjoy the game, what am I going to play? Because I can't just play Dead by Daylight, which is the only other game I really play aside from Call of Duty for two years straight. I can't just play old Call of Duties for two years straight. I, I can't do that and, you know, occasionally play the new Call of Duty if I hate Modern Warfare 2 then, you know, occasionally play that game and mostly play old CODs. I don't think I can do that because I'm burnt out already. I'm already burnt out on Black Ops 3. I don't really like enjoy playing it as much as I did. I'm burnt out on Black Ops 4. I'm burnt out on World War 2 because I played these old CODs so much, especially with Modern Warfare 2019. I have so much playtime in all of them that I don't really want to go back and play them because nothing's new with them. So if Modern Warfare 2 sucks, at least for me personally, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, for the channel, it could be great because I could go back to the videos I was making in Modern Warfare 2019, which were quite successful on my channel. But in general, I I don't know what I'm going to be playing because I'm not going to be enjoying playing Modern Warfare 2. And while I do enjoy, again, my other game being Dead by Daylight that I play, I enjoy that. I, I can't play that and only play that game or I'll legitimately probably pull every single one of my hairs out. I, I need something else to play. And I know I'm sure I'll find something else, you know, I'm sure there's that X Defiant game that's supposed to come out, but I don't know what's happening with that project or if it's even going to come out at all. I know there's Overwatch 2 potentially coming out, you know, I could give like Battlefield games a try, but for the like diehard COD community who really doesn't play anything but COD games, like, what are we going to do if the game sucks? <laughs> like, what are we going to do? And more more specifically, what are we going to do if it's a Modern Warfare 2019 situation all over again, where all of the diehard fans absolutely hate the game's guts, but there's a vast majority of new people who absolutely love the game? Then what are we going to do? Because the game's going to be popular, but everybody who's like a, a long-term fan is going to hate it. Are we just going to leave the franchise then at that point? Because, I mean, I just don't see people playing old Call of Duty games for another for two years straight i just don't see people doing that i don't see people wanting to put up with that because like i said i'm burnt out on all the old call of duty games and i haven't even played them that long i couldn't imagine having to play them for even longer like it doesn't mean i don't enjoy going back and playing black ops 3 or black ops 4 right i still do but i don't want to play them as much as i did because i've played them so much that i'll play them once every three weeks once every two three weeks or something like that just to go back but other than that, I, I don't play them that much because, again, I've played them so much and also they're infested with hackers, which just, you know, obviously makes the experience 10 times better. But are we, like, genuinely, are we just going to kind of leave the franchise? I mean, I don't see it happening because, you know, Treyarch's going to announce their new Call of Duty game and everyone's going to be like, praise Vonderhaar, Treyarch saving Call of Duty, Black Ops is back, Black Ops Future War 74, whatever the hell they're going to call the title, I don't know. Black Ops 5 or something, oh my god, Call of Duty saved, thank you Treyarch, and then they're gonna release Cold War again, and people are gonna hate it, maybe, I don't know, it's too far ahead to say anything like that, but genuinely, what, what's gonna happen? I mean, Treyarch's next Call of Duty game after Modern Warfare 2 is supposedly supposed to be something similar to Black Ops 2, which could be great for the franchise, but... Is the diehard players gonna want to come back? Because I mean, we feel like we've been spit had you know just our faces spit in since Modern Warfare 2019 with the aggressive skill-based matchmaking, and if Modern Warfare 2 also has it, 
are the diehard players really going to want to come back for Black Ops 5 or whatever Treyarch decides to release just to potentially and probably deal with the exact same problem again? Or is Call of Duty kind of going to slowly die out if Modern Warfare 2 is not a enjoyed game by both new players and old players? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. If the game sucks, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. What do you guys think is going to happen? I've kind of just been rambling on with my own thoughts here. I, there's no script or any direction where I want to take this video. I just kind of wanted to talk about this and see what you guys have to think about it. So with that being said, feel free to leave your own thoughts down below in the comments section. If you go to the link in the description, you can find my Discord and Twitter. Great way to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel. And with that being said, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. Peace out.